the next time I saw him, we were wakened up, it was about one o'clock at night, and the message that was given was that the prisoner, James Connolly, was wanted to see his wife and eldest daughter. And Mama, Evan, it jumped to my mind immediately, you know, all, you see, all had been executed up to then except himself and Sean McDermott immediately jumped to my mind that he was going to be executed. But Mama had the idea that he wasn't well, that it had taken a turn for the worst. But anyway, we got ready and we went there. We were taken in a, an army lorry right through Dublin. It was an awfully queer, eerie jer trip because we were staying in William O'Brien's house at that time, coming down through O'Connell Street and all the still smell burning, you know, they, they still got that horrible smell of burning and not a soul on the streets because there was curfew, you know, at that time. And uh, we went through this, the dimly lit streets at the time, not a soul, you didn't even see, we didn't even see a soldier until we came to the bridge. There was some there and we went up to the castle. So when we got into my father, he said, well, Lily, he said, I suppose you know what this means. I said, oh, no. Oh, no, not that. He said, yes, Lily. She broke down then and she said, what a beautiful life, James. He said, you're a beautiful life. And he said, wasn't it a full life, Lily, and isn't this a good end? And she, she still cried, so he says, look, Lily, please don't cry. He says, you'll unman me. So she tried to control herself. I was trying to control myself, too. Then he said to me, put your hand down on the bed. So I put it down on the bed. And he said, that's a copy of this, my statement to the court martial. Try and get it out. So a piece of paper was folded up very tightly, not bigger than that. 